Last month, I put a Kaufman Sunder exhaust on my Rebel 1100 and immediately fell in love with it. And it seems like you guys did too, because the response to that video has been great. But there's been one recurring comment that keeps popping up over and over again, which is, when is Kaufman's gonna come out with a Thunder exhaust for the Rebel 300 and 500? And the answer to that question is now. Did that sound good? I think I nailed it on that one. Kaufman saw your comments and immediately got to work on a Thunder exhaust for the Rebel 300 and 500, and we have that here today to test on both bikes. Now, the reason that we're testing this new exhaust on both bikes is because even though it's the same exact exhaust, whether you have the Rebel 300 or the 500, it's obviously gonna sound much different depending on which bike you have because the motors are so different. The Rebel 500 has a parallel twin cylinder motor and the catalytic converter is built into the header. So that means that anytime you swap the muffler, the cat stays in place. But the Rebel 300 is a single cylinder thumper motor with the catalytic converter built into the muffler, meaning that anytime you swap out the muffler, you're also removing the cat and essentially straight piping the bike and in turn letting out all that noise that the cat was holding back. In general, because the cat is removed when you swap out a muffler on a 300 and not a 500, if you were to put the exact same exhaust on a 300 and a 500, the 300 is going to be way louder. So I'm excited to hear the difference between the two. That'll have to work. All right, let's jump straight into it and check out the exhaust. But first, make sure to subscribe if you're new here. So we do have two of the same exhausts. One of them is going to go on Nina's 300 and the other one on Dom's 500. We have one of them taken out there with the silencer removed and the other one still in the box to show you guys how good the packaging is. They really take care of their products. And like I said, it's a mom and pop shop. So you even got the cute little thank you for your order sticker. All right, so over here, we have the exhaust taken out. You can see it's the same super high quality that we expected out of the 1100 exhaust. You got those smooth buttery welds right there. You can see it tapered right there from kind of the smaller size up to the bigger and you got the nice packing in there the baffle is removed because you get two different options for how loud you want it you can put the silencer in there if you want it to be a little bit quieter and it comes out with the snap ring right there now we took this out earlier and it's important to mention that you do want to cover the tip with some masking tape and then i also took the snap ring pliers and covered them with a rubber glove and electrical tape just when you're taking that out you kind of avoid the risk of scratching the tip and that's why you put tape on it <laughs> Cool. It's a little bit uh, fragile. I did scratch it a little bit still, but not a big deal. And then of course you get the black clamp with the Kaufman's. You don't have to worry about the ugly uh, silver clamp that come with lots of other exhausts. All right, so everything is looking good. And I believe the plan is that we're gonna start off with Dom's 500 and we're gonna test it out both without the silencer and with the silencer. See which one we prefer, get some sound clips and then do the same for Nina's 300. You ready to do this? Let's get it done. Y'all. Yeah. All right, so install is gonna be super simple and it's gonna be the same whether you have the 300 or the 500, all you're gonna have is a 12 millimeter bolt with a 12 millimeter nut on the back. You're gonna take that off and then another 12 millimeter down here at the clamp and then you can just slide the muffler off, reverse the process to put that on and we'll be good to go. So this part will pretty much just be a montage of us doing it. All right, she's on. This is both of our first time seeing it and that looks so freaking good. You can see it goes straight back. Looks like just like mine on the 1100, it tucks in super close to the swing arm, but obviously still has plenty of space. And then Dom was pointing out, you get so much more ground clearance because the old muffler came down to freaking here or whatever. Yeah, that is super, super clean looking. How you liking it? I love the way that looks. Hell yeah. All right, so right now, this is the one that does not have the silencer in it, no baffle. So uh, actually, we should probably grab some rubbing alcohol to wipe it down, get our fingerprints off of it, and then first start up. All right, first start up, moment of truth, no baffle in the Kaufman's. Mean. That is good. Uh, so also it's worth noting that Dom previously had the Shorty GP exhaust on his 500 and he took it off because he wasn't a fan of the sound, not the volume, but it was just way too tinny. How are we comparing that to the Shorty? It keeps the nice grumble and it doesn't sound all tin canny. I have to see what it's like on a ride to see if it's droney, but yeah. I love that. Do you wanna take it for a quick little lap before we put the silencer in? Absolutely. Hell yeah. Yeah, 
dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sounds like it's supposed to bro that sounds so freaking good quick little hot lap around the parking lot and we're both blown away that sounds so good this bike sounds the way that it should sound legitimately all right well it sounds like you're gonna run it with no silencer but just for the sake of the video we'll throw the silencer in and see what it sounds like wait dom was just talking about the exhaust off camera so we got to get it on camera what were you saying basically so since that exhaust is straight back you don't get a lot of feedback from the exhaust to your ears like you do with something like the shorty gp yeah yeah i didn't even think about that the fact that it almost shoots the volume behind you as opposed to the shorty gp just like blaring up in your ear yeah he already said off camera the silencer is not going back in for the long term but we'll see what it sounds like that's almost better yeah silencer back in for that you know i think we had we thought we had decided oh she's taking her trash out we thought we had decided that the silencer was definitely going back in but it silences it enough like it's not as quiet as i thought it was going to be but it's almost like more refined and is it in my head or was it a little bit throatier it was throatier yeah it was a lot nicer i think i'd be willing to put the silencer back in for yeah that. you want to do another quick little that angle's terrible. You want to do another quick little hot lap down the parking lot and see what it's like? Sure. See, it didn't sound that much quieter at first, but now him ripping down the parking lot, you can definitely tell how much quieter it is with the silencer, but still sounds so good. That's interesting. With revving it, it didn't sound that much quieter, but you riding it, you yeah. can definitely tell how much quieter it is. So it's louder at idle than free spinning, but when you ride it, it's quiet. It's like noticeably, noticeably quieter when you're riding. I like the other one better when I'm riding. Yeah. But the silencer, while it's idling, is nicer yeah that's interesting well now let's go ahead and move on to the 300 and we'll start off with the non-silenced version again and we'll see how loud it is all right so we got it put on the 300 with no silencer in there like i said this should be much much louder than the 500 was because there's no catalytic converter it's essentially straight piped with a little bit of baffling in there so we'll see how crazy this sounds <laughs> neighbors they're gonna hate you <laughs> <laughs> the camera probably doesn't do that justice that is so loud that's obnoxious it's very loud it sounds pretty good honestly but it's definitely loud i will say though you guys might remember back in the day one of my first youtube videos ever please don't go back and watch it because i'm probably so awkward in it i put a two brothers exhaust on my 300 and i was talking about how loud it is putting any exhaust on any 300 and i can confidently say that that is at least much quieter than the two brothers was which is crazy that that's that loud and the two brothers was louder but uh yeah needless to say sounds like we kind of knew what was going to happen going into this we assumed that you were going to keep the silencer out and for it to work on the 300 it would need the silencer and uh i think that definitely holds true i'll take it for a quick little rip down <laughs> the parking lot like you did just for schnitz and giggles but i think we yeah. already know <laughs> i already have a headache yeah <laughs> get along with the dirt bike kits dude that's so loud it sounds surprisingly good though yeah i would never do this but it sounds good it does sound good but you know if you want to be a loud boy i don't want to be a loud boy 
All right, so now we have the silencer in the 300 exhaust, and I think this is the only way to make this exhaust work on this bike. So fingers crossed that it really is uh, that much quieter. I know on the 500, when we first started it up, it didn't seem that much quieter, but you could really tell how quieter, how much quieter it was when you went for a ride. So we'll do a startup. I don't know if that'll actually be a good indicator, but then I'll rip down the parking lot and see how that sounds. But if this is still too loud, then we're kind of SOL. So let's see. What's the over under? What are we thinking? Is it gonna be too loud? I think it's still going to be loud, but a bit quieter. Yeah. Wait a second. Uh -oh. It's still had the opposite effect of the 500. That's actually crazy. So, oh. That wasn't even in the shot. Okay, so that's actually way quieter than I was expecting. Yeah. That is noticeably quieter and potentially manageable. All right, let's rip it down the parking lot and see what it sounds like. That is so much better than what it was without the silencer. It even sounds better. It does. It like doesn't sound as hollow, I feel like almost. I agree. Damn, that's what's up. Where shall we eat? I bet yeeting it down the hill would be nice because it might roll. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right, should, before we wrap up, should we take them for a spin and do some flybys and then see if Nina's home to surprise her with her new exhaust? Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, let's see how these babies sound on the road. I mean, it's still very loud, but way better than I was expecting compared to the two brothers that I had before. Like, this is actually legit, dude. No joke, when I had the two brothers on my uh, my old Rebel 300 and I heard how loud that was, I thought there was no hope for an exhaust ever, not sounding good, but never having a volume that wasn't insane and illegal sounding. But this is proven otherwise. This sounds so freaking good. I mean, it's loud, but it's not insane by any means, dude. This actually sounds really good. That would have shattered my eardrums with any other 300 exhaust I've heard. This is great. All right, now time for some flybys with the 300 with the silencer and the 500 without. Let's grab the GoPro and get out of here. <laughs> All right, we probably overstayed our welcome, so probably time to go. But final closing thoughts, what do you think? I love it. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> Literally, it sounds so good on both bikes. We were spot on about the silencer for, uh, for Nina's, but not for yours. And where's my pocket? There we go. And I think they both sound freaking great. All right, well, 
that exhaust is yours now so thank you for your help today and let's get out of here so that'll do it for today guys we both freaking love these things shout out to kaufman's for not only having such great customer service and being so aware of the customer that within weeks of hearing that people wanted this exhaust they went ahead and made it they both sound great hopefully you guys uh could see the difference between the two of them the difference between the 300 and the 500 motor catless versus having the cat still there i'll leave a link in the description if you want to buy one of your own leave any questions you have below shout out to the patreon members for making all of this possible and I will catch y'all on the next one. Love you guys. Peace. Ooh. That looks so slick. Yeah. What do you think? Ooh, that's crazy. Doesn't it I sound love good? It. Yes. Yeah. <laughs>